man that stopped a woman from shopping. Bang! Oh, 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 What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's everybody doing this evening? How's everybody doing this evening, bro? I hope y'all are living good. I hope y'all are doing your thing. It's your man here, bro. Feeling good. The Shave Lion King, bro. Listen, man, I got to keep it real with y'all, bro. I have to keep it real with y'all, bro. You guys got to understand something, bro. You got to understand something. When they're telling you that there's only 1% people out here in this world, okay, doing this walk, gentlemen, <laughs> that we are shining in right now, okay? There's only 1% of us, okay? You know what that means? Do you know what kind of responsibility that means, okay, that you are now acquiring as somebody, bro, who is truly the definition of self-improvement to the max. Do you understand that? See, I don't think you guys understand what I'm saying. Let me give you a little picture real quick on exactly what I'm saying, okay? You are now walking in this vibration, bro, okay? Where you can control your emotions, your thoughts, okay? outside influence and energies trying to manipulate you to do things that you normally would not do, okay? You have the ability. You know why that is? It's because you have taken the walk, bro. You have walked up the ladder, bro, okay? You have climbed to the top of the mountain, bro, okay? And you are now hanging out and knowing that you're not going to go back to where you just came from, okay? So that only means from this point out in your life, you only go one way up and you keep going all the way up. While these other people are down here, bro, battling them themselves, bro, okay? We're talking about Armageddon, bro. We're talking about World of Wars, bro, <laughs> okay? We're talking about end-time scenarios down here where people are battling themselves, bro, okay? They're not going to be consistent, bro, okay? So what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that everybody that you deal with, man, Everybody that you run into, no matter what kind of persona that they put up, bro, you're going to see right through it, okay? And here is the issue. The issue is you have to now deal with this, knowing that every person now that comes into your life is either going to detract, subtract, okay, or hold you back energy wise just from you even sharing energy with them now this is what i want you guys to understand bro from the true okay the true files of a retainer bro 
This is what we have to deal with on the day to day. Now, knowing that we have this ability now, knowing we can have the ability to manipulate, the ability to create, wield energy in negative ways, to take advantage of people, okay? Because we know that, we now understand the stance that we have to take and how we have to carry ourselves. And let me tell you guys something. Because of this, because of this very thing, bro, I have been walking my life in a completely different light. I've always been a good person, bro, okay? But I was never close to even trying to walk a path of trying to be perfect. I have never in my lifetime come close to even come close to that, even though I know I'm still far away. That's still not the point. The point is I'm way closer, okay, to that than I've ever been in my life. And it's because I've been retaining my seed. And let me tell you, I have become this person, bro, that I could not believe. I'm doing things, bro, straight from my heart with no thought. Straight from my heart. Organic. Authentic. Okay? Giving. Helping. Truly bonding with the energies that I intertwine with on the daily. And I see my value. I understand, bro, just from the feedback of the outside world on how valuable I am to society for the lack of people in our society that are walking on the opposite path. This makes you extremely trustworthy. I don't understand the, how I have to go over this word over and over and over for you to understand what it means. I don't throw words out lightly. You become trustworthy. That means I could trust you around my children. I could trust you around my mother. I could trust you around people, bro, who might need to be looked after and not even question you one bit. This is something you ooze from your body when you're retaining your seed because you are now on a status and a level of purity. You can giggle, you can laugh. And that's why your ass is dead last. Because I'm telling you what it really is over here. You become so valuable to the outside world, bro. You become literally people's happy space. People come into contact with you, bro, and the automatic magnetism that happens just from the moment that you open your voice is amazing. You have a value, bro, that is priceless. You can now, bro, be out here in this crazy world, bro, that is just getting worse and worse every single day, man. And truly remain in a positive mindset, okay? Having good body language and frame, no matter what is going on around you, and still, bro, be out here uplifting people, okay? And preaching nothing but positivity, you are more valuable than you could ever possibly imagine. Now, you can look directly at your family. 
You could see that you probably have a mother who needs some help with some health issues. You might have a father who might need some help with some health issues. Okay. You now take this role. Okay. Of the, the person that steps up and is now stopping all of these generational curses, bro. This is a lot of pressure, but it also feels so good knowing, bro, the type of value that you actually have. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of people aren't going to notice your value, okay? They're not, unfortunately. Unless they have some good energy, they're not going to notice your energy, okay? But I want you to understand something, okay? You want to keep putting out this type of energy no matter what, okay? You want to keep inspiring. You want to keep helping. You want to keep uplifting, bro, okay? You want to keep doing this no matter what is going on around you, bro, okay? Because I promise you there is people who do see it, okay? And it shouldn't be on a level of you should be getting something back for what it is that you're doing. You still should be doing it out of the kindness of your heart. But still in the fact of the matter is, bro, as long as you're doing that, man, okay, you would be doing your job, okay? This is why we are valuable. When I tell you guys I've been put through so many tests, okay, this last past year, so many tests, and I've told you guys about a few of them, and I'm going to tell you about a couple more that I've never told you about. I've been put through a lot of tests, guys, a lot of tests to test my character, okay, to test to see who, who that I really am, okay, to see if I really have control, to see if I'm really living in the moment of life. And like I said, if you have no life force energy, you're a joke to think that you're going to be able to navigate Okay. And hopscotch through this reality. Okay. With all your P's and Q's together, you're wrong. Okay. Your life force energy is what's going to lead you on this journey, bro. Okay. It's what's going to lead you to this part of your life. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. And all of these tests that you're going to go through. Okay. Are just a reflection of who you are. And you don't need someone to come down here and judge you. You don't need that, okay? Because you know who you are. You know what you've done, okay? And when I tell you that I have lived a life of purity, I don't understand what you don't get, okay? And how I see things way differently because I'm not up and down my chakras. I'm in my higher vibrations. This is why you guys think it's a joke because you've never been here. How are you going to think something's a joke if you've never been there before? You sound like a dummy, bro. You sound like a hating dummy. The minute you decide to change your life, bro, and get to where it is that myself and many others have gotten to is the only time that you will understand what it is that we have gone through. And when I tell you, you change, you really change. You become your authentic self. I don't care what nobody thinks of me. I'm not putting on no damn act. I'm not walking around hard, sagging my pants, trying to act like a gangster. I'm sitting here telling you, what life is truly supposed to be like. But the world is so dumbed down and so ignorant, bro, that they choose to hang out and they lower chakras because they think it's cool. Bro, my life has changed so much, guys. I've had so many tests, man, okay? I'm going to tell you about a few of them. All right. I've been tested so much, bro. Okay. I found lots of money on my journey. Okay. I found people's whole wallets. Okay. With everything in it. I found people's whole purses with everything in it. Okay. I found people's whole keys to their car. 
could have been, been off with all their stuff, could have been in their car, okay? I rescued a lady, bro, who ran off the side of the road, bro, drunk in the middle of the night with zero lights out in the middle of nowhere, okay? And I rescued her from her car and treated her like she was my mother. When all of this crazy crap is going on in this world where you can't trust nobody, you ain't trusting nobody. I ain't trusting nobody, bro, because the world has showed us if you do what is going to happen, okay? So when I tell you that this journey cleans up your life to this degree, I cannot make this up, all right? And I'm sitting here surprised and shocked on what I'm doing and who I am, Okay, and how much discipline I have and how much I've changed. It's a totally different person, man. Not saying that I would have took taken any, you know, advantage of any of those things that I just told you, but I am I have before when I was younger, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been put in that position and over your years have done some decisions, okay? Have made some decisions. Okay, let's keep it real. All right. I remember helping out one of uh, the dudes that I watch. All right. Had found some wallets in his car and he was trying to keep them. And I told him the first thing that he should have did was it's a test. And this is where I should have kept my mouth closed and let him decide his journey for himself. OK. And the reasons why he's probably experiencing the things that he's experiencing in his life right now. I shouldn't be interfering. OK. But I did anyway because I didn't I don't want people to fail. All right. And he's telling me that he was going to end up keeping it. So if, if, if you found somebody's personal property, okay, their wallet, their purse, okay, their keys, all right, and you decide to keep that, you don't think that that shows you what type of character you have, what type of person you are, okay? how you view the outside world and others and respect that has a lot to do with it. Okay. And when I tell you that my life is so squeaky clean, I wouldn't want to even be caught in a situation where somebody think that I did something wrong. This is why I don't have a lot of people in my space. This is why I'm solo dolo. So anything that does happen like that, it would be, it would be because it's my fault. Okay. I invited it. Okay. I didn't take responsibility for the people that I let in my life. And I'm not trying to tell you, you cut yourself completely off. You're missing my point. Okay. My point is, bro, it puts you in a life, bro. Okay. Where you now are able bro to have this heightened sense of being able to tell who someone is just by the merely looking at them speaking to them for a second seeing something they said and then you recognize people's faults you see that people are still doing the same low vibrational things that you preach every single day as the message is going straight over their head like they didn't hear you shows you, okay, what it is that you're dealing with out here in society, bro, as far as ops go. So you have to really understand that this journey, bro, okay, is going to put you in a profound, a profound position, bro, okay, where you literally, okay, are going to be trying to avoid a lot of people. And it's not purposely. It's strictly because of where you're at now and on the frequency that you're on and in the way that you understand the way energy works, okay? And anybody who does not understand that can easily, bro, all right, unload their garbage and their energy on you. You become the, you become the receiver at this point, okay? This is why you have to walk this journey alone, guys, okay? At least until you get to where it is that you're trying to be, okay? 
this journey, I would never trade it ever for anything else in the world. It has taught me so much. I can take everything that I have learned, bro. Okay. And I can truly, without any shame, without ever going back, without even even thinking about the things that I've said all pertaining to this subject, I could teach it, bro, and not know that there was going to be any negative things that came from what it is that I chose to share with others. And for me, that is the capstone. You can't tell me nothing else in this world that would make a bigger difference in what it is that we are doing in the SR community. You can't even begin to tell me there's no damn doctors out here doing nothing, nada, nada. There's no groups out here doing nothing, nada, nada. Okay. That's going to cause a bigger change. All right. And our young men than what it is that we are doing over here in 2024 in the SR community. That my, that my fellas, bro, that my fellas, all right, needs to be recognized. Okay. Needs to be respected. All right. We're doing real B I G things over here. Why the rest of YouTube is talking about straight up garbage. And if you don't believe me, why don't you just go tune up out of here, go click on your YouTube icon and see what comes up on your for you page. Show me something that's going to change your life. Show me something that's going to make people get out of depression. Show me something, bro. Okay. That's going to be able to magnify your vibrations, your attractions. Okay. Faster than this. Nothing else is going to be able to do that for you. Okay. This is the, this is it guys. There is nothing more valuable, especially in 2024 when we have all of this crap going on. So let me get this straight. People are not getting married anymore. People are running away from relationships, okay? Our so-called masculine men have created the soft guy era for the simple fact that you would even say that as a masculine man, say the word soft in front of guy, all right, symbolizes where the hell you're at. Let's me know that you one monkey spanking corn hub watching fool, okay? That is extremely weak, Okay. You wouldn't even be thinking like that if you was truly retaining your seed, bro. Okay, because that ain't there's nothing masculine about that. Okay, you're 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 a grown man, bro, out here playing little high school kid games. All right, that is some childish ish, bro. Okay, and you're doing it strictly for likes. All right, that is weak. That is beta. And this is why I want you to guys to avoid that at all costs and understand, bro, that you have found the real lion's den, bro. You have found where to come and truly ignite your masculinity, bro. You have found the place to come, bro, to sit up on top, bro, of your throne, bro, and look around the world and see on what you done gone through and now have come conquered while the rest of these people out here are going to make excuses, cry, whine, be all up and down their chakras, okay, all inconsistently just doing stupid stuff to destroy their lives, all right, while you sit back glowing, all right, I mean glowing, bro, Okay, attracting everything that you want, looking healthy, learning more every day because your cup is never full, bro. You understand that there is infinite knowledge for 1D to learn, and you're definitely not going to learn all of that in the space of a hundred years here on earth. You understand now what you're dealing with, what these other people could never see. You are now awake, Neo. All right, we are all Neos, but all of us are mostly asleep. This is why they call it the Matrix. All right, 
And we're trying to help you guys. We're trying to help all of you young men out there, bro. Improve your life to the highest level, man. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I don't care if you're doing sports. Sports, you'll turn into the next Michael Jordan. You'll turn into the next Herschel Walker. You'll turn into the next Ken Griffey Jr. You're going to magnify all your attributes, Okay, this goes up and down the board for whatever you do in your life. So let's say if you want to start studying, maybe you're not an athlete. Maybe you're just somebody who likes to study. Start retaining your seed and watch how much more you retain, how much more knowledge that you gain. Okay, how much more of a focus, bro? How much more of a hunger, bro? And with that type of an attitude, bro, comes more and more will and drive to explore, to conquer and this is where the man becomes fulfilled in his life y'all all will trade this for five minutes of pleasure with your hand y'all men will trade this for that Y'all men will trade to find a woman who's going to lay with you and honestly make love to you, which is something that most of you guys have never experienced in your mother effing life. You would rather trade all of that, bro, for five minutes of pleasure. For watching other people on the internet do things that you wish that you could do with the woman that you loved. Instead of redirect all of that low energy, bro, into a higher positive thought, bro. The transmutation factor, man. All you would have to do is tap in, bro. You are, you have so much potential, but you don't get it. You're not listening to nothing we've said. Because if you did, bro, you would be taking the shit seriously, man. And by this time next year, you'll be sitting up here talking like me, bro. Okay. With the same passion, with the same drive, trying to get others to understand what the fuck they're missing out on. And I hate saying this, but you guys, man, gots to wake up, bro. Okay, you gots to, all right? For all you other dudes that's on retention out there, bro, I applaud you. You on your way, all right? You on your way. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. You know what you're working with. You on your way. But for everybody else that's still playing, bro, you're still playing with those nasty, sticky balls, Bro, are you kidding me? You could have a beautiful woman playing with those sticky balls all in your mansion in a in a in a beautiful place, bro, that you created with the thoughts, all right, with the actions of your own mind. You telling me you would want to live a life like that, bro? Instead of just still be sitting here at home behind a damn computer hating on people. All right. And as soon as you get off the computer, what you going to do? You going to get right on Cornhub, bro. You going to spend an hour and 25, possibly two hours on the, on the hub. Let's keep it real. Okay. There's not one dude I know that could tell me that they just sometimes go on there and it's only for 10, 15 minutes. You a damn lie. That is an energy sucking device, bro. Okay. And every single time you tap in there, bro, they are sucking you dry. Okay. And I don't mean just from your seat. I'm telling you straight from your energy that you don't think that you have that's valuable. That's the life that these people want to live instead of live the life of a king. Okay. I am a king. I'll say it again. I am a king. My stance has never changed. It's only gotten stronger and it's only going to be, it's only going to get more and more stronger the longer I go, bro. Okay. I am powering up over here. Okay. 
I am powering up over here, bro. Okay, my mind is on point. My magnetism is on point, bro. My life is flowing, bro. Okay, I'm seeing things. I'm, I'm seeing things differently, bro. I'm really seeing some Neo shit in the Matrix. And y'all think it's cap. Because y'all low on fluids. <laughs> I can't stand people who hate and have no clue about what it is I'm talking about. Okay. You can only hate on something that you have experience on, therefore being able to form an opinion. Okay. You can't hate on something. You can't even explain to me on something that you ain't never done, playboy. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you think you're bad now, if you think your life is good now, if you think your swag is on point now, well, guess what, bro? You missing out on a whole nother level up, bro, that you never knew about, okay? And it, all it takes is a motivation of what it is that you really want. Are you just going to keep continuing, bro? Just keep continuing, bro, to settle in your life. I'm just going to settle for this butterface. I'm just going to settle for her because she got a fat booty, but I'm not even interested in her. You're going to keep giving your energy away to pleasures that are robbing you from such a much richer and wealthier and healthier lifestyle. You guys, I am done. Okay. I am done. I, I, I just can't, I can't do it anymore, bro. OK, I can't do it anymore because I don't understand these modern men. OK, you guys are in your soft guy era. OK, and I'm going to leave you guys in your soft guy era. You're a bunch of soft guys. All right. That's why you go in your house and get on your knees and play with your little soft noodle at the nighttime. OK, you're weak, bro. You guys need to boss up and become men again. Men ain't about having a beard and taking steroids. You guys have lost yourselves, man, okay? You have no idea how to deal with people, let alone deal with women. I can't see, I can see why some of you do strike out so damn much. I'm not striking out no more. I'm fixing myself. I am balanced, okay? I learned how to balance my chakras, bro. I learned how to do this on this journey, bro. And this is what's going to complete you and make you the ultimate master, all y'all got the ability, bro. All y'all got the swag, okay? But so many of you guys are just lagging right now, man. You're too comfortable with what it is that's going on. It's too easy for you, and therefore, you've lost your hunger and your drive. You're no longer thirsty, bro. And that's why most of you guys are out of shape. And I mean that, out of shape. I see you Negroes. You Negroes are out of shape, bro. You will never see a retainer out of shape, bro. Ask my man not out of soul, okay? Ask my man not out of soul, bro, okay? Transformation, okay? Showing you what happens when you truly retain your seed, all right? You get your drive back, bro. You become the person that you're really supposed to be, okay? But most of you guys want to continue to be fake, bro. Fake gangsters, fake acting hard. Let me ask you a question. All these dudes out here be claiming, all right, that they believe in the most high. Okay, if you know the most high is watching us all right now, and the most high were to come down now, right now, because you've heard people say that, that angels, uh, the most high could come back and, and be in a body and you wouldn't even know it. And look on how, how we act down here as people. Look on how look at how fake we are, okay? Trying to hold up a persona, okay? Knowing, bro, that that persona is either going to put you in the grave early, bro, or get you all the negative attention that you could possibly want. But yet and still, we still want to hold on to these lifestyles, bro, because what does that symbolize? That symbolize one thing and one thing only that you're still in your lower red chakras, bro. You don't understand. You still don't understand, bro, okay? And I'm not clowning none of y'all. I'm just trying to want you guys to see, bro, where you're at, all right? So you can't be up here and just talking all this mess, bro, and not hold yourself accountable for who and truly who it is that you really are, okay? Instead of being fake, all right? That mirror is not a true reflection of who you are. 
Okay. Until you put down all that crap that you're doing, bro, and go back to a uh, base point, bro, you will never understand on who it is that you truly are. Okay. But it's so sad that we have to wait 50, 60 years into our lives to enjoy the best life that we could have been enjoying 20, 30 years later, bro, by just understanding the power of cultivating your sexual energy. All right. But you guys don't want to hear me, though. You don't want to hear me, though. You guys come up here and you don't even want to listen. All right. I'm up here doing this for real. I'm on the journey, bro. Okay. I'm telling you what it is. All right. And once another, like, bro, let, let me, let me explain something to you. Let me, let me explain something to you real quick. Then I'm a bounce, bro. Let me explain something to you. Okay. So, so many of you guys will give your energy, your time. Okay. To things that are not going to give you nothing in return. Okay. Nothing in return. The difference between what y'all are doing on the internet. Okay. Watching all this ridiculous material. Okay. To the self pleasure, bro. All right. That's giving you zero return in life instead of putting that energy. Okay. Into a partner, which you don't have to do. Okay. You don't have to do that, but I told you that's the way we want you to do that because that's creating positive energy. The energy is never dissipating. The energy is now being transferred to someone else. Okay. That's why it's supposed to be creating a life with it. Okay. But instead, you want to waste, 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 bro. Okay. Waste, bro. All right. And don't want to build. You don't want to build. Okay. If you don't want to build with the woman, okay. You don't want to build with the woman. That's fine. You don't have to build with the woman. Let's take the woman out of the situation. Now, the only thing that you have to do left is what? Is retain your seed. Okay. Go on your journey. Okay. Learn everything about yourself. Okay. Raise your vibrations, bro. Come out of that negative red energy and just try to experience what it feels like on the higher frequency end of the light spectrum and see what I'm trying to tell you. It is so much better over here because I'm not putting up a facade for none of y'all. I don't care if you don't watch my shit. I don't care. It doesn't mean that I'm a mean person. No, I just don't care. I'm not doing this for anybody. I'm doing it to help people. Okay. That's what I'm doing it for. I'm not up here trying to be entertaining. I'm up here telling you what you need to experience before you leave this earth realm. And if you didn't, bro, you have done yourself a terrible disservice, especially as a man. All right. Because you don't understand the purpose yet of life. You haven't lived long enough. Well, I think I'm here for a reason. Okay. I'm here for a reason to enlighten you on what it is that you're going to be experiencing before you experience it. All right. And that's why you should listen because it's coming from an expert opinion. I am someone, bro, who is highly trustable, respectable. Okay. I am someone who stands on morals and principles. I don't give up. I don't quit. Who else were you going to take an opinion from about a life journey that that person is walking? Who else are you going to listen to? Okay. So when I come here and tell you what it is, what it is, then trust me, that's what it is. So I want you guys to continue to walk your path and do not get distracted no matter who comes in your way. Because guess what? Once you have enough momentum going in that direction, they're going to come out of the woodwork to try to get you to go back in the opposite direction. So remember this, guys. When you are retaining your seed, you become the master, bro. All right? When I tell you the master, I don't mean that in a negative, condescending way that we have been taught. I mean a true master, bro, okay? Someone who truly has been through it all, okay? And understands life 
And no matter where this person goes, because nine times out of 10, this person is, is on their way to the height of where people are supposed to be in society. And then when they get there, they're going to learn how to be appropriate, respectful, how to treat people, how to deal with money, how to give proper advice, and how to help heal people. That is is the journey that you get. You're going to get paid back times a million because you are extremely valuable. And someone somewhere someday is going to see how valuable you truly are and they're going to give you the world. I promise you that. But that is to the discipline and that is to the people who truly are going to walk this journey the way it's supposed to be walked. Okay. You sidetrack, you fall off and you lose all of that shit that was destined for you. Okay. But if you stay disciplined and you do what your father wants, your father's will, which is to walk as if he were walking in fleshly body on this earth, then you know on how you should be acting. You know on how you should be conducting yourself. And I don't need to go any further than that. So I appreciate you guys for being in here. I'm going to read a couple comments and then I got to get up out of here, guys. Nick, what's happening with you, man? Good to see you, my man. My name Nick in the building. He says, retain gang in the building. Let's continue breaking these generational curses. And that's what we want to do. And you feel so good about it, bro. I feel so good. I feel so amazing about everything that I'm doing in my life, bro. When I tell you it's a purpose, it's a purpose. Why? Because I feel good. It helps me, bro. Every single day, all I want to do is help. I don't just do it right here on the internet. You guys know if I'm this type of person right here, if you guys only know me as the Shave Lion King, as Darius Washington through here, through this internet, imagine what kind of person I am in person, okay? When I tell you that I have, I carry this same energy that I'm giving to y'all right now out here and I do it for positive, I give out so much health information every day, bro. Like I said, I wish I had some retention goggles so you guys can see how my life is every day. Every day I'm giving people health advice. Every day I'm giving people health advice. Every day I'm giving people all kind of advice to help change your life every day. And they seek and they ask me. And so the craziest part is most of these people are always way older than me, bro. And they don't got to listen to me. They don't got to be quiet. They don't got to respect me. Okay. And they don't even look like me. And that's the worst. That, that's the biggest part about it. That's how I know who I am, who I am, bro. Okay. Because I deal with people who don't look like me, bro. And I get the highest level of respect. I have people open up to me in the most craziest ways, bro. Okay. And this is all from retain. This never happened in my life, bro. Never, bro. Because this is an energy that cannot be faked, bro. Okay. People are drawn to you and it's the way it works, bro. Okay. I'm not trying to sit here and tell you, bro, that that every single per, every single woman per se that comes into your life on retention is going to be a woman that wants to get with you like that or something like that. That's not what that's about, bro. It's about having the people, bro, truly be attracted to you and getting to know as many people as you can on this walk of life, bro. When I told you that it's like the ultimate fulfillment when you start to be able to deal with people because people are the true currency, you will see what I'm saying when you keep retaining. Not this topic, bro. Dylan, what's happening with you, bro? Good to see you, my man, Dylan. Good to see you, brother. West West in the building. What's happening with you, boss? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, West West, man. Dylan says, 2023 was a major test for me, too. Prepared me to shine moving forward. And that's the way it should be, bro. That's the way it should be. We have to have something. We got to have some kind of momentum. We got to have some kind of energy that's going to slingshot us, bro, into doing the, you know, the right things in life. That's just the way it is. 
Okay. We got to keep it real. That's just the way it is, Dylan. Okay. But you stayed on your journey, bro. You let that momentum push you into the positive direction. And you're staying on it. Okay. And that's the important thing. Okay. That's the important thing. See, a lot of people, we, we, we're learning a lot of people in this world don't want to be the man. A lot of people in this world don't want to be the main character. Hell, a lot of people in this world don't want to be chosen ones. Okay. Just because the chosen ones videos get a lot of views doesn't mean everybody wants to be a chosen one. Okay. They want to see what chosen ones go through. They want to see the life of a chosen one. Okay. This is why this type of thing is fascinating, bro, because most of the people in this world are never going to be able to do this. Okay. There's not in this lifetime, not in this one right here. Okay. There's plenty of other lifetimes, but not in this lifetime right here. We're seeing, you know, the, 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 you know, the repercussions of what's going on in our world just by the numbers and the statistics that we have of people doing it. So this is a journey, bro. Like I said, this is one of those journeys, bro, where <laughs> not many people are going to be able to do this, bro. And it's a superpower, man. And because of that, man, like I said, you have a responsibility now, bro, to lead and lead correctly. Truth and Broadcast Station says, throw up the SR hotline. I would have, bro, but I needed to talk about this, man. I, I really want you to understand how powerful that you truly are and how valuable that you truly are. When I tell you, bro, that this is the most trustable, if I ever, when I do, I don't know if it's going to be on this planet. I don't know where it's going to be. I, I told you, I feel like I'm a king somewhere and sometime somewhere, bro. I'm not kidding you guys, bro. I'm telling you, I've lived a life. I was a king at one time, bro. I'm telling you, okay? When If I could control life, okay? If I could control the way things work, if I was the president of the United States, every man that served in my army and it wouldn't be an army to go take and fight other countries because that's bull crap. I would end, there would be a worldwide uh, uh, peace treaty. No one would be fighting with anybody. Okay. We would figure it out what people needed. Okay. That would be first off. Okay. Second off my army. Okay. The people that I would trust in my kingdom all would have to practice retention. There would be no, there would be nothing else that any, if you couldn't practice retention, you couldn't be amongst my kingdom and you couldn't be in my army. Point blank, flat out, period. And I would have the strongest, most loyal army that they could ever be. Okay. But for the simple fact that people do not do this, you, you look at what we have today going on in America and look at our army look at our army. Okay. I'm not even trying to laugh and joke about it. It's pathetic. Okay. Nothing like our army used to be. Okay. And the simple fact that they have to pay people 50 grand to try to, you know, persuade them to join them lets you know how pathetic and weak that it truly is. Okay. And that's because look at our society. So this, this radical society has all this stuff going on. We have all these drugs, we have all these alcohol, we have all these people, you know, with all these, you know, in devices releasing their sexual life force energy and what's it causes it's causing a weak society we have a weak birth rate okay we have a weak birth rate men are 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 not fertile here bro they're letting you know firsthand on how value you how valuable you are as a man retaining the seed first of all Okay, because if God forbid, if something were to ever happen like that, bro, uh, a retainer could damn near populate this place again. Okay, and that's on everything that I love, bro. Okay, in a time where people are defeated and depleted, bro. Okay, people don't even understand that the diets that they're eating are toxic and it's causing them to be, you know, not fertile as well, bro. Okay, to understand that a retainer, bro, okay, is taking that little advantage over the rest of the people, bro. Okay. It's going to make you extremely valuable. Okay. Just let, just let one of these countries, bro. Okay. We're already seeing what happened in Japan. And if you think that that's a joke, then the joke's on you because that's real. Okay. A retainer could go over there, bro. And, and make a life for himself. <laughs> I'm telling you guys the truth, bro. A retainer could go over there right now, bro. And make a life for himself. 
Okay. And you think that's cap and you think that's a game. Okay. But you've been playing around this whole time instead of having a whole year of building up a mature seed, a healthy seed, bro, where you could go over there and give those positive, strong, healthy samples, bro. Instead, you, you played with yourself the whole year, bro. Okay, you're out of shape. You ate bad, bro. Your diet, your health is bad, bro. Okay, your 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 seed is hella impotent. Okay, you you chose to be one of those guys. Okay, instead, bro, of being able to arise to the occasion of the situations like we're having right now over Japan. And when I tell you guys that that it's not like you know we could send half our men over there, bro, and that still probably ain't gonna solve their problem anytime soon. Okay, so you could still reach that goal if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, but I would highly recommend you to start retaining your seed if that's something that you're going to do. Okay, and you want to have a high success rate. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have sperm autogenesis going on. You want to make sure you have that mature seed. Okay, it's a reason why they tell you that. Okay, because the rest of your time, your seed is weak and immature, bro. And you don't want to be passing on seeds in this world and coming in off of weak, you know, genetic material. You just don't want to do that. MJ says, now, matter how hard you exercise, if you don't guard your eyes, you will have a great wet dream. <laughs> it's not even about, bro, it's not even about um, guarding your eyes at the end of the day. Because I can see that all day. It's going home and meditating with it on your mind. And what do I mean by meditating? Well, you're going to come home and you're going to think about what you saw. That's a form of meditation, okay, just by repicturing it in your head, okay? So that leads to the problem. And then the minute you lay down, you know what I'm saying? You, the minute you lay down, that's in your head. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's in your head. And that's going to cause you problems. Hold on, I got to get a drink. <clears throat> like I said, that's going to cause you problems, <clears throat> oh, I appreciate that, Jim, man. <laughs> yeah, say that. Say that. That's right. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm about to dip up out of here. <clears throat> I just really wanted to come and talk about that really quick, bro. I feel like that was very important to talk about and understand on how valuable you are, okay, as a man, all right? And how valuable are, <clears throat> how valuable you are as a retainer, okay? You are valuable, bro. Not only are you valuable in a monetary sense, okay, which is like I feel, I don't, I don't, I don't need that to validate what I'm doing, okay? You are so valuable on what you add to society, a true, honest, genuine person, bro, who anyone could trust, okay? A, a guy that you, you could trust around your wife, okay? A guy that you could trust to watch your kids, a guy that you could trust with all your money. Okay. A guy that you could trust. I don't want nothing from none of y'all. I'm on my high vibrational. I'm higher than all you guys that have the money. Why did, why would I want something you got? You want something I got, which is fulfillment. Okay. Which is extreme discipline. Okay. Which is the true ability to look at one's flaws and correct them all. But see, when you have money and you have all these material things at your side, bro, you get a self of arrogance you know, arrogance. All right. And you don't think that you have to change anything. And trust me, man, I know this firsthand because I know a lot of people that have a lot of money. Okay. Firsthand. Okay. And this is how they all are, bro. All of them are like that. All of them at the end of the day. Okay. will always think that you're coming after them for something or you want something from them. when I told you it's the opposite way. They really want something from you. Okay. And that's why these people <clears throat> confide and reach out to you. Okay, because you have it together. Okay, and it's only going to make you better when you get to the top because you're going to be able to sustain and keep your kingdom and your dynasty. Okay, without any flaws. And that's the difference. And this is why the Most High wants you to rock this journey. So, you guys have a great rest of the night. And then I'm going to come and talk with you guys in the next couple of days, man. Have a good one, uh, fellas. Peace. <clears throat>
send one out to a very special lady in the house tonight. Loving you is easy call. You're beautiful. Dootin' dootin' doo doo. Reggie? I will not stay, even if I must sacrifice my life.